Hey there, my name is Dave. Um, the author of the uh, web novel known as Mercenary X. Um, you can check into that later if you want to. But uh, today I'm going to teach you how to install the Homebrew channel on your Nintendo Wii. Now, bear in mind, first off, this is an illegal process that is not endorsed by Nintendo whatsoever. But, however, installing the Homebrew channel will not brick your Wii. I am 99.99% .99 certain it will not brick your Wii. The only thing that can possibly endanger your Wii involving the Homebrew channel is depends on where you download your stuff from. Now, um, you have to install emulators on the Homebrew channel in order to play old games onto it. So, um, that's the only risk with that, but you have to be able to know what sites are trustworthy to download them from and whatnot. So, I'll be telling you how to do that and where to get them from anyway. So, um, in any case, the uh, Homebrew channel is going to need a few materials in order to actually hack it and one of those materials will include a SD card which um, I will show you in a few moments um, the other thing you're going to need is a computer that can read one of these SD cards now bear in mind um, the only reason why I am not syncing up my mouth with the uh you know with this audio and i'm narrating it is because well every time i try to actually narrate this i uh there's the sd card right there i uh every time i try to narrate this it just wouldn't work and wouldn't sync up with my mouth or anything so um try to bear with me here So yeah, um, you may have noticed by now, but there are not a lot of good tutorials online on how to install this stupid channel onto your Wii. Um, I myself, I'm a computer science major, associate's degree graduate from college, and uh, it took me well over an hour to completely install it. Um, instructions on the internet are complex, missing steps, leave out information, and are altogether complicated and just very confusing. Um, the closest thing to this tutorial you'll find is um, I found one video on YouTube. Um, I can't remember who made it, but um, they only like left out like one or two steps, but they were pretty good at it. And but I still had to do a search on Google on a couple of steps. Um, in any case, um, first off, before we begin. Just gonna give you guys like a few tips and easy guidelines to follow throughout this video um, in order to uh, avoid potentially bricking your Wii. Now, like I said before, actually installing this homebrew channel will not break your Wii at all, guaranteed. However, there are other things you might want to watch out for just in case. Um, so these are pretty easy to follow. Um, first off, the first tip I'd like to give you right now is that. Uh, if there is a specific game you want it to download and play on an emulator just because it's free, I'm just going to give you this one little tip here. Um, if the game is being offered on Nintendo downloadables um, on their shopping channel, I would highly suggest you get it from there instead of the free emulator. Reason being is you can avoid the risk altogether of any sort of potential uh, dangerous viruses or anything like that. Um, there are very trustworthy ways of getting um, perfectly good working games of that type, but if you can avoid the problem altogether, I would much rather just download it from the official people who guarantee that it will not hurt your Wii. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is that uh, if you have a Wii update that you need to download, I highly recommend that you do not. Reason being is that I've read many accounts of people's Wii's having issues with the homebrew channel after updates. Uh, Nintendo does not like illegal downloads, so I guess um, I haven't had any incidents yet, but uh, if you have the power to, don't download it. 
Also, if you have what's known as the Nintendo Channel installed on your Wii, where you can get a look at previews of games and reviews of games and videos and things like that, and they, you know, collect data from what you like to play to better understand their players, um, I would suggest just deleting that altogether. There's really, unless you absolutely love it or whatever, you know, I would just get rid of it because you really don't need it first off and secondly I don't know if this is possible or if they can or you can't do this but just in case I like to avoid risks if I can but they do collect data on what you like to play and what you have been playing through your history and if you notice if you get done playing on your homebrew channel and you look at the little messages it says you were playing homebrew channel for such and such an amount of time and if that gets sent to Nintendo well, I'd just rather them just I'd just rather fly right under their radar if I can. So um, I don't know if they can read that or not, but just in case. The three most important things you're going to need to do this um, would be sometimes out of reach, but uh, the first material you're going to need is an SD card. Here's the dimensions just to make sure you knew what one is. Um, it should fit into your Wii. Um, the other material you're going to need is a computer that can read those SD cards. You can actually, or maybe put it into a camera and connect it to the computer. It has to have some kind of thing in it so that you can read the files on it. If you can't, well, you're out of luck. Um, the, you're going to need a copy of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii. Notice how the one I'm using is for the GameCube. This will not work if you use the one for the GameCube. It will not. I'm using it merely as a prop, as a representation of the actual game. Okay, so far so good. Right now we're going to go to www.google.com and we're going to type in homebrew channel. No space between home and brew. The very first link is the one you want to click. When the page loads up, it's going to look very professional, and it even has down here the W3C's um, certificate for um, professional XHTML and CSS. Um, if you have no idea what that means, don't worry about it. It just means that they know how to make web pages. Uh, very well, and it's uh, approved by many browsers. Um, right now, we're going to go to download, and we're going to scroll down here. Now, now what we're going to do now at this point is insert our SD card into whatever it is device that the computer can read it from. I'm going to do it right now. Notice the icon, the sound effects, yada yada yada. Alright, I have deleted everything off my SD card and copied it into a folder to show you exactly what everything is going to look like so that way you don't get confused by the files that are already on my SD card and like, oh, is that supposed to be there or should I have had that? Or No, I'm going to make sure that we start off with a clean slate. So, what we're going to do now is now reminding you if you have uh, a mod chip in your Wii this will not work you got it I don't know how to do it that way but this is pure twilight hack and no there is no other way to do this without uh, a mod chip now we're gonna click right here it says twilight hack volume 0 0.1 beta 1 dot zip you wanna click that and download it I'm going to save the file. I tend to save my new files always to the desktop and then decide what I want to do with them later.